All right, guys, we're going to talk about the backhand. And before we get into the footwork part um, and kind of show why we do not hit the ball, Hey guys, we're going to talk about the backhand today, and I know that a lot of us want to talk about um, or focus on the loose grip and the rack head speed. But let's talk about um, our legs and what we do with them on the swing. Now, we'll get into the actual swing, but the reason why I'm standing here or sitting down here is for you to do a quick test. So one thing I want you to do is a one-legged squat on both sides, and you might see that one side is not as strong as the other, making it harder to get power on the less the, the weaker side. And usually it's the left side when players do this if they're right-handed. So what you'll do is just kind of keep, keep your legs up in front. Just make sure your knee stays straight. You don't want it to be wobbling. If it does, that means you have some strength issues that you might want to uh, consider doing because uh, if if your knee is not if your muscles around your knee are not balanced, uh, you have you could have problems with your knees in the future. So we'll get in that another time. But for now, just try to keep your knees straight. If you need to push off, that's fine. But your leg is going to go straight, and you're just going to lean forward and just try to feel what it's like to go up on both legs and see how balanced you are, and see if if uh, one leg feels weaker than the other. So you can do a few just to get a feel for it and just kind of understand one side usually is weaker than the other. Now, when that happens, that means you gotta build the other side up, right? But also give you an idea of, wow, maybe that can help reason out why uh, you're not as strong on the backhand side if your left leg isn't. Now, obviously your left arm might need some strength too. So that involves repetition, but a lot of my work on in tennis is off the court. So think about that. Maybe this test will help, and then we'll get into the footwork. So try it out, and we'll keep going. All right, we just talked about how the backhand, uh, like we talked about the legs being have to be equal, and usually we find that on a backhand side we're weaker on one side versus the other, and usually it's the left side if we're a righty. So the idea then is to strengthen that side. And the reason why now is you can see from the clips of the pros hitting that they transfer their weight really well. So if I'm hitting straight ahead, you know, I'm going to be, <clears throat> you're going to see that they always have their weight planted on their back leg. So if the back leg isn't strong, you're out of luck because you're going to have to use that leg to transfer your weight forward. Or if you don't have time, you're going to have an open stance forehand and you're still going to have to use that leg and the left hip to strengthen that. So we'll get into another video about how to do that. But I'm telling you, most of my training for tennis is not even hitting balls. It's to strengthen and make sure I'm balanced and feel good on both sides. Now, we, a lot of players want to know racket head speed, racket head speed, right? And on the backhand. Well, we'll definitely get into that even on the one-hander. So we'll get into that um, soon. But the idea for, for this uh, video is just to kind of emphasize on the legs. Because if your legs are doing more of the work, then your right, your upper body doesn't have to try so hard, so to speak. And you can relax And because the legs are doing all the weight transfer, right? So the idea is if I'm going to hit this ball and I'm gonna, you're going to see that if I stand still, I have to use my upper body to hit that ball. And that's not going to work real well, right? So if I can stay loose with the with my upper body, I have to get my power from my lower body, right? So if I can transfer my weight and go through it, it's a lot more smooth, and I can hit the ball with a lot more top spin, more control. I'm reaching out, not as much strain on the body. So you can see that the idea is I want to be able to transfer my weight. So I would practice this a little bit. If you have trouble feeding the ball with the backhand, if you're a righty, just put your left hand on top, right hand here, and then when you throw it up, just grab it here, and now you have your now you're ready to hit it. But this would be a good way for you guys to practice and just feel that weight transfer. You can even do it with an open stance forehand to feel what it's like to transfer your weight through the ball with your back leg. All right. So give those uh, give that time to think about, and as you're playing, maybe you have more focused practice on this so that you're really transferring your weight better and you're going to see that wow i can relax more because my weight is going naturally forward i don't have to try so hard with the upper body so hopefully that helped give it a shot